Okay, bro, what do you want to talk about? Uh, nothing, nothing very long. I just um, wanted to say um, I'm also a brother in Christ. Thanks be to God. And I'm, I'm trying to study the Hebrew currently. Okay. So I've got the Hebrew, the Hebrew word here. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's um, very important that, that people you know, go out and spread the word. Um, um, and I really want to see more, more of a hunger in, in, inside of, inside of um, people for the, for the Lord. Okay, what, what, what's your question, bro? I know, I just wanted to have a, you know, just um, a, a thought, a thought of, you know, just, you know, just a talk. Okay, about what, bro? What do you want to talk about? Uh, the Lord. Okay, go on then. What would you like to talk about? Um, well, I thought, I thought, um, I thought I was just speaking with you about um, how, how we are in churches. It would be nice to see more people um, diligently searching after the Lord. Well, I mean, I think a lot of Christians are, actually. I think our problem is that we don't have very inspirational leadership that's helping Christians to apply it in practical ways. And so that's why the Christian church doesn't seem to make much of an impact, because our leaders are a bit visionless, and they've hyper-spiritualized um, everything in such a way that, um, that, bear with us one second. In, in such a way, um, oh, bear with me. In, in such a way that makes them, uh, it make, makes a, a lot of a Christian witness very ineffective. But I, I don't think it's actually fair. I mean, we obviously want all Christians to do that, but not all Christians do. You see my point? Yeah, I think it's more about um, it, it's a problem of identity, and I think many people call themselves Christians, but in the word it says that one must be tested to see they are if they are truly in the faith or not. Um, yeah. where, where are you going with this, bro? Uh, I was just talking. I mean, the the, the 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 reality is that 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 sifting is not for us to do. It's not for us to judge our brother or the weight of our brother's actions. Uh, the, the, the point is for us to be concerned about what we do and making sure that we are the kind of person that inspires and encourages people to move closer to Christ, you know, rather than, rather than pointing out the gap between someone, where someone is and where you think they should be. As Christians, what we should be doing is being the kind of person that draws people to Christ in the way that we live. And so I, I would encourage you to change your perspective and to focus more upon how you can inspire people through your life rather than making commentary about people's failures in theirs. All right, I see, I see where you're coming from. I think, yeah, indeed, I, I agree. You know, it's good to, um, you know, through, through how the, the Lord, what the Lord wants to do in people's lives, then um, he'll be glorified. Yeah. Decrease in me and increase in Christ. Alright, thank you. Okay. God bless you. Hi, Bob. Hi there, how are we doing? Nice to meet you. How are you? Yeah, My name nice is to meet you. Yeah. I've seen you on YouTube. I've seen other people as well, but that's why I've came to try to get involved more. Um, do you know of any network by any chance where people like me could just get a little bit more involved to learn because obviously there's books anywhere you can read books yeah but so it's let good me to have teachings yeah and okay so let me let me try and try it try it let me yeah let me give you some advice yeah. firstly um, are you prepared to lose your job yes are you prepared to lose your career yes I, I don't really have a career okay great anymore, but are you are you happy to be villainized I don't mind okay and, and, and have you prayed and discerned that God is wanting you to do evangelism here? 
Uh, can you have you prayed and discerned that God is calling you to do evangelism here? I'm not certain. Okay. I'm not certain. So my, my, my first... I, I know that I'm drawn to God. I know I'm drawn to the truth. Yeah. I know that I'm drawn to to the problems of this world between good and evil, holiness and wickedness, death and resurrection. I, it's something that I, is really important to me. But yeah. is this what I'm supposed to do with my life? Yeah. I so, think, sorry to interrupt. Sorry. Big fan. Keep up the good work. Well no done. worries, bro. Good God, God bless you. Keep That's in it. touch. Yeah, well done. Thank you. Guys. Thank you, you did well over there. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Guys. Thank you. Yeah. Take care, Bob. So, God bless. So, so my, my, my advice to you would be this, is that you, you need to discern whether 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 God is calling you to this because there are real problems with doing evangelism here that impact your life. I know. Right? Now, if you if you feel after doing a discernment that you feel God is coming here to work with you, I want to advise you firstly, there's no real network of Christians here. No. Right? There are Christians that come here independently that kind of back one another up and support one another up. Okay. Right? And we kind of hang out. And there are some informal things that kind of spring out on the back of this right if you want to connect with the Christians that do this you just got to be with us when we leave the park and you start to meet people and you'll start to see who are the regulars and then you'll start to connect with us and I would advise you to do that if you feel that this is where God is calling you to do evangelism to, to stay with your brothers and sisters to learn with them so that we can support and encourage one another and so that we don't become isolated from one another yeah yeah and 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 you know, if you are going to come and do evangelism here, there are, there are three things that you need. You need to be emotionally stable, yes. right? You, you shouldn't be coming here because you want to make friends, no. or you shouldn't be coming here because you want to belong to something, or you shouldn't be coming here because you want to find a wife, or because you want, to, um, you want fame, uh, you want to be seen and you want to be known. Don't come here if, if those are your reasons for coming here. You should come here because you're secure in all, in all who, who you are, and come here because you believe God has called you to do evangelism. That's the first thing you need, emotional stability. The second thing you need is intellectual wit. You've got to study and you've got to know your arguments and you've got to know your apologetics, right? Right, that's something else that you need to come here. That's the place where... I'm and the third thing, the third thing that you need is my advice to you is learn how to defend yourself. Because very often when... Yes, physically. Because very, the, the police aren't protecting us. They don't care about protecting us. They, they let us get attacked every week. They, they let people get away with crimes here every week. Um, and so as Christians, we just got to protect ourselves. Yeah, I've seen it before you came. Actually. Yeah, that, uh, everybody knows it who, who's, who's watched these, the, these videos for long enough. So my advice is learn to protect yourself because when you need the police, they won't be there. And when you go to the police, they'll make excuses. So you've just got to be able to protect yourself. Right, so stop training physically. We need people in the park who are emotionally secure, mentally intelligent, and physically strong, or at least physically able to defend themselves. Any other questions? Uh, I mean, we can talk about. It was. Uh, let's speak about different things if you if you want to, because yeah. you give me your advice on that. Yeah. So that's what I needed. So I'll stay. Yeah. And mingle after. Um, I'd like to come back to the question of the gain and the soul. Um, I come from a denomination where we don't believe in the dissociation between soul and body. Go on. Yeah. And uh, so, as far as we're concerned, there is uh, there's nobody in hell or nobody in heaven now. Yeah. As unless they've been resurrected by God or taken away without death, as we know happened for Enoch, for example. Yep. Um, I would like to know. How do you justify this notion of the soul according to the scripture and what is your position? Well, 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 well I mean, yeah, you, you kind of asked the wrong question in the wrong order there because you begged the question. You said, well, how do you justify assuming my position? Uh, and my position isn't definite, to be honest. Okay. I, I have a, a fluid position on this question because I haven't, I haven't studied it enough to come to a solid conclusion myself. I think that there is a difference between uh, however we use the term, whether we use spirit or soul, I understand it in a sort of material sense, that there's a thing that is materially spirit or materially body. And then there's this other thing that, for instance, I'll just call soul, which is what we might call the emotional, psychological and willful self. And that emotional, psychological or willful self, I believe, uh, continues. I believe it continues because Christ said it continues when he said, to the man on his left hand side, this day 
you will be with me in paradise. And so there's obviously a distinction between the body and the you that will be with them in paradise. And I think that that's where we find the soul. Just not that it matters, because I'm not denominational, but what, what tradition are you coming from? Seventh Adventist. Okay, I thought so, yeah. 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 Um, the way we enter By the way, I'm, I'm not interested in convincing you on this. It's totally fine. And, and also, okay. I, I, I don't want to entertain this conversation too much, because while me and you are talking about this non-controversial issue, people, there's a lot of yeah, non-Christians yeah, yeah. out here to be talking to. So do you want to reserve that for later, perhaps? Yeah, really, it's, it's okay. because I, I just don't, I, I here okay. in the park, I don't think it's, it's okay. worth getting into. It's okay. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. All right, I, I respect your position and I've That's got, and I'm, I'm open to it. I haven't made my own mind up, but I, I think as Christians, like, we need yeah, to focus on evangelism. Yeah, I think so. Uh, well, thank you again. Yeah, stick close to the brothers. I'll stay here. We usually finish about 6.30. So if you want to come with us, you're more than welcome. How are we doing? How are we doing, big guy? You all right? Back to my question. Back to my question about the Quran. <laughs> See how they run. See how they run. <laughs>